For cleaning up the dorm before I went off to college, I purchased a Black & Decker Dustbuster 14.4 volt wet and dry vacuum. And in the couple weeks that I've been here, it has seen several occasions of use and has worked quite well. It came with a little brush attachment for just general dust and picking up stuff off a carpet. Also with a little squeegee thing for scooping up water. And this actually works because one of my hallmate's rooms got a bit of rainwater in it when it when we had thunderstorms, actually the same day I made the road flooding video. But I am interested in popping this open just to see the difference, compare it to the, I believe the Hoover really old battery powered wet dry vac that I pulled apart, see how far these things have come. And also, I want to verify what type of battery this thing is using, because I really want to get the most use out of the battery pack that I can, so it would be helpful to know whether it's a NICAD that would be better used if it's drained most of the way before being fully recharged, or a nickel metal hard drive that is a bit more flexible with how far it can be discharged before it's recharged again. So I'm going to pop this apart, this nice well sealed dust container and a filter. It had this about half full of water from my homemate's room flooding incident and it didn't leak at all until I actually opened it up and dumped it. So that worked well. But toss that aside, what I'm really interested is the actual unit. For a battery powered device it has a substantial amount of suction if I give it a bit of a rev. Yeah, just the air escaping out the bottom vents knocked my little physical tag right off the table there, so it's got a lot of kick for a battery device, and it's quite a bit heavier than the Hoover one I took apart. But it's now time for its secrets to be revealed. Time to open it up. And here we are with what is inside this at first glance. There is a switch there, just the on-off switch. Compared to the Hoover one, this thing has an enormous battery pack. This looks like probably sub-C cells. So that is, that's nice, it's gonna have a substantial capacity. And then it has a bit of a little after filter to keep stuff from getting back into the motor. And wow, it even has yeah, it even has further battery cells there and on the other side there on both sides of the motor as well, so a lot of batteries. This thing is this thing's all batteries. And it take a bit of wiggling to get the assembly out, so Alright, there we go. And here is the business end of the device. There, there's a tiny board with some diodes and a LED and a pair of resistors. Those are, that's just the charge indicator light board, I think. I'm not sure, don't think there's anything too special about that. The charge regulation is in the charging power brick itself. 
the motor by comparison is much more substantial than the one on the Hoover. I can see the lighting isn't too great for this, but I can see that the motor actually has a its own cooling fan in there, so it's certainly a bit of a more powerful motor, though I doubt I'll be able to find any specs on it even if I could unclip all of this mess. And let's see. And it is nickel cadmium batteries, it says so on the label. So that is what I was interested in. Don't think yeah, I'm not sure I want to tear this entirely apart, but that's sort of what I was looking for, and it is interesting to see how they did that. So, that is what is inside a more modern, bit of a higher quality, handheld, battery-powered vacuum cleaner. Motor, impeller, battery pack, and a switch. That's it. Thanks for watching.